this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Luna! That's what's up, Ramus. Nuts. Well, I'll tell you what I'm hungry for. Boss time! In the Sega CD version, this is actually the first boss in the game. You don't have that sailing slimer there, so... Yeah, it takes quite a while to get uh, to the first boss of the game in, in that version. First things first, we want to buff up Alex there, and we'll just have Ramus attack there. Now this guy has a lot of HP no matter what level you're at. So, even with all those buffs on Alex there, you're probably going to need some more MP for him beyond what he already has. So, uh, yeah, Sword Dance, that's going to be your main source of damage there. Healing Song, eventually, we'll want... We'll want to use a starlight on Alex, but uh, for right now, we're doing okay. I also gave some herbs to Ramus, because if Alex's HP gets too low, uh, Luna will not be able to heal him enough to be able to survive another fire press. So let's see, she'll heal him up to about 57, so yeah, that's cutting it a bit close. He can hit you for like 57, 58 damage, so uh, let's use an herb there. Yeah, Sword Dance is going to be your uh, main source of damage. Unfortunately, it's not nearly as abusive as it was in Final Fantasy V, but you take what you can get. Fortunately, he doesn't always use that uh, Fire Breath attack on you, so you'll be able to survive like that. In the, I, as I recall in the Sega CD version, I don't think you could attack him at all. I think you had to basically uh, just use Alex's fire magic or something like that. Okay, yeah, so basically if Alex's HP gets much below 20 after one of those fire breath attacks, you would probably want to heal and use an herb at the same time. Okay, now Alex's MP is starting to get a little low, so we want to watch out for that. One thing I like about this game, they actually call MP well, MP, as opposed to other games that try to make themselves sound cool and different by changing the name to something else, even though it's effectively the same thing. Okay, so yeah, once you know his MP is going to go below 10, then you want to use a starlight on him. Yeah, some, some games call it like SP like spell power, or tech points, or whatever, or force points, or something or other. It's really the same damn thing. Just call it MP. You're, we're not going to call you a Dragon Warrior or Final Fantasy ripoff just because you call it MP. I think Dragon Quest was the first game to use the term MP, if I recall correctly. It's like, I, heard, I think, like, all the other RPGs before that, like... Dungeons and Dragons, Wizardry, and uh, Ultima, I don't think they used MP. I think they used spell charges at the time, or whatever they called them. Like, even Final Fantasy 1 didn't have MP until, or in the traditional sense, until, like, Final Fantasy 4, really. Well, technically Final Fantasy 2, but, well, that's, that's kind of different. They didn't do it like Dragon Quest until Final Fantasy 4, which I really liked. But we got them, all right. Not a good idea for you to corner yourself there like that. <laughs> Where were you going to run to here anyway? What were you going to do? Just hide? Throw it in the water? Or give it to your dragon so you can shit more of them? And what? 500, that's it? Yeah, in the Sega CD version, we got 3,000. Oh, or that. Yeah, it sounds like a great idea. Surprised he's threatened by us, but then again, this is a JRPG. Ha ha! I sold my di diamond to you, and then I bought the shop to get the diamond back. Ha <laughs> ha Good going, Ramus. Ha <laughs> ha! Why would you hire the guy who just tried to rip you off? Yeah, that's what Brett said. 
Wax on, wax off my ass. I love this part of the music. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I love the music in this dungeon. Dance to the music, viewers. I don't hear you dancing to the music. What's going on, Remus? Half, that's it? In the Sega CD version, it was, well, a lot more. Or half was a lot more, but oh well. What's going on? We're leaving. Okay. Oh. Oh, hey, it's that, uh, that Royce character. What do you mean by that? Eh, she must be mistaken. There's nothing special about her. Okay, well, let's get out of here. Good thing I didn't use that, uh, what is that thing? The wing earlier, a uh, dragonfly wing. Let's just warp right out of here. If only we had a spell that could do that for us. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Ah, uh, or that. We could have more fish. Okay, one thing, or a couple things we want to do before leaving this dungeon. It's a bit of a spoiler, but you'll find out in a few minutes anyway. So, let's get out of here then. You notice that Ramus is, uh, if you've been playing along with me, Ramus has uh, stopped getting stat gains ever since he hit level 12. What happens if I talk to her? Oh, okay, never mind then. Thank you for sparing my life. <laughs> oh, hey, Nash. What's going on? How do you know about that already? We just got out of there. Well, as we all know, in JRPGs, news will always travel faster than you do. Absolutely. Yeah, not in this version of the game. Personally, I don't care about the whole Alex learning magic in the Sega CD version thing, or not learning it here. I, it doesn't bother me one way or the other, but, uh... Hmm? <laughs> I like the look on Nal's face. He does have pretty funny facial expressions. I'll give him that. Oh, well, thank you. Well, you need someone to hang around with to make you look better, so... Sounds like a plan. Well, that's the last... Er, well, the last two that are still alive, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, okay, why not? I mean, you would think Mel would know about these, uh dragons and everything, but, uh, well, I guess we gotta talk to them, so, sure, let's go check that. I'm not gonna get into a but thou must situation. Ramus, what's going on? That's, I mean, uh, good, good. Yeah, yeah, so Ramus leaves your party permanently, so that's, if it wasn't obvious, that's why I removed his equipment there. And that's also why he stopped gaining stats at level 12, because I guess the game didn't an anticipate you getting his levels this high or something like that. So, it's the exact same thing in the Sega CD version, too. Ah, Now you're going to have to make fun of Nash. Later on in the game, uh, you can come back here and uh, buy some new equipment. He'll have some, well, yeah, some equipment for you there. But, uh, not right now. So, but speaking of equipment, there is one more thing that I, uh, want to do here. Now that we got Nash back in our party, we can get some new stuff for him. So, let's go do that. I don't really need to get a whole lot for him, but, uh, well, a new weapon. How's it going? 
Okay, we want to get a fire cane for him. You can use that in battle, just like the description says, and it can cast fireballs. So you don't even have to have it equipped. Just have that in his inventory. Uh, also, I do want to give the battle bow to Nash. There we go. Eh, you never know. I mean, sometimes I'm mean, usually it's probably just better to just use the fire cane anyway. But I figured, well, I've got the battle bow anyway, so why not? There is. Well, you know what? Let's go talk to Mal first. You don't have to, but we might as well. But uh, yeah, I was saying uh, there is. Uh, remember, there's that guy who was talking about that uh, other entrance to the sewers here? Okay, how's it going? Well, thank you. Don't you know anything about them? Ah, okay, I guess that's, that's all I said. Let's see if they got that... Uh, I just want to check something out down here. I forget if it's... Uh, changed yet or not. Yeah, it is. Okay. So yeah, you can go down there and you can get some of the other treasure that's back there, but I don't want to do that right now because there's a whole bunch of monsters there. We could take them and get a little bit of treasure, but there's really not much there, and I'll come back there later anyway because there's a locked chest. Spoiler alert, we're going to be able to open those locked chests sooner or later. So I figured, let's just do it all in one go. It's not really that important right now anyway. Like, why bother fighting all those monsters twice, you know? So. Ah, okay. Sounds like a plan. Now this is one thing I detest about the Sega CD version. They gave you the totally wrong directions to get to this place. And it's like, go south. What do you mean, go south? There's a freaking ocean there! And I just totally lost my way. And there's random encounters on the world map in the Sega CD version. So if you get lost, you're screwed. So, uh, yeah, that just really pissed me off. Behold, the magic city of Vain. Oh, where? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's a little floaty continent thing. Why do they always make these magical floating cities anyway? They must have hyper jets on that thing. What do we got, a Cuisinart? Yeah, one thing I heard about the Sega CD version, I heard, I don't know if this is true or not, but I heard working designs intentionally change some of the directions in the game to be incorrect when they translated it to make it more, I don't know, realistic or challenging or some BS like that. I don't know. I find that hard to believe. But some of the directions in the game are misleading. And it's like, oh, man. Yeah, that... that the first time I played the Sega CD version, I got about this far, and I was just like, no, nah, no, nah, I've had enough of that. But uh, uh, second time I played it, uh, I had a much better time. It is a really good version of the game. It's just sometimes the directions can throw you off a little. Really, game? You're going to make that reference? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. We want to go to Vane? Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Who's this magic emperor? Uh, they're just rumors. They couldn't possibly be true. Man, people in these games always believe rumors. Then again, it is a JRPG, and as we all know, all rumors, myths, and legends are 100% accurate in JRPGs. Absolutely. Oh, okay. So we gotta get some application, I guess, to get up there. But, uh, ha ha. 
Well, yeah, that's probably true, so. Okay, well, we gotta go to Althena's Shrine to the west there. But will we be allowed into vain with the application? Or will we be stuck doing the truffle shuffle? Find out next time on Let's Play Lunar! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day! <laughs>